looking up on the card, we have Darren the Damage Elkins coming in at a stellar 25 and 9 in the featherweight division. That's 145 pounds for you newbies. At 5'10 and 171 pounds, he recently snapped a four-fight losing streak against Eduardo Gagari. Also, you can see that he has a loss uh, against Anderson or Alexander Volkanovsky. His opponent is Derek Minner, coming at 26 and 11. This guy is a submission specialist, coming in at 5'7 and 71 inch reach at 145 pounds. Obviously, he has a high, little bit of a height disadvantage. Uh, he's coming off two wins and a loss. So I'll kick this over to you, Zach. Are you taking the minor, excuse me, the minor, or are you taking Darren Elkins? Um, actually, Tom, I'd like to take this moment. Uh, that was a two bears, one cave reference. I was doing a Burt impression. It wasn't very good. But uh, can you take me back to full screen for a second, Gage? Uh, yes, I can. I'd actually like to take this moment to shout out this beautiful bottle of decoy Pinot Noir from the Duckhorn Collection. It's a California wine. It's from Napa Valley, and it's incredibly tasty. It's, uh, it's the inspiration for big dubs. It's how we take home the money. If you don't drink red wine, fuck you. But uh, actually looking at the fight and being serious here, I think these guys are kind of identical. I think Derek Minner reminds me of what a young Darren Elkins would look like. If you've watched the show before, you know, my stereotypes are I pick favorites and I do not pick old fuckers. So I would like to stay true to myself here and say that Elkins is scrappy. He's a guy that, does not start off very fast, but he comes on as the fight ages as it goes on. Um, they both have really good ground games. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw some really, really interesting jujitsu rolling going on. You know, it might be boring to the casual, but if you're interested in that, I think this is a fight that you want to watch. But looking at it, I think it's a really close matchup. I think the guys at the UFC did a really good job here, and I just think being that much older is going to hurt Elkins. I think Minner is going to find that success on the feet because he's going to have – he's not very good on the feet. I will give Minner this one, you know, discredit, but he's quicker. He's going to move better, and I just think this fight's going to get crazy. If you want me to be really honest and make my genie in a lamp pick, I think this fight's going to be really close. I think Minner is going to come out strong and win the first round and look good in the early part of the second round. But I think Elkins is going to come on at the end of the second round and probably win the third round. So I have this in a split decision, actually, 29-28 in favor of Minner. But this is going to be something that MMA Twitter and all of those people are going to be talking about as a robbery, in my opinion. Okay. Um, I'm going to have to agree with you on Minner here. However... I give you a little bit more technical background, I think, to back up what Zach said. Go ahead with it. I think that, um, honestly, Darren Elkins loves to weaponize his pace. And you see that from plenty of his fight. He, He can brawl. He can bang. He can take you down. He can really just make your life hell. Um, which I love and which I think is a rep- recipe for disaster for any fighter. However, um, I think that he gets caught too much, especially in the stand-up wars that I've seen in the past, uh, especially of lately. He just gets caught way too much on the chin. And I'm not saying that he's chinny or can get knocked out easy, but that damage accumulates. He takes way too much on the chin and can, like, I, I can't remember what fight it is exactly, but he got really fucking bloodied up by I think it was probably the last three fights. And then his last win, he took his opponent, Gregory, to the ground, ground and pounded him, and kind of inked out a win via, uh, I would say, like, honestly, just having more stamina on the ground. 
However, his opponent, I think, what's his name, Zach? I'm sorry. I'm Darren really Elkins? Sorry. No, no, not Darren Elkins. Derek Minner. Derek Minner. I, I think that Derek Minner can actually use this to his advantage because Derek Minner really has changed his game up. I mean, honestly, it's only been one fight, but he switched J, uh, cr- uh, camps to James Krause, and he really showed an improved cardio and re- really improved game where he didn't necessarily rely on the guillotine and the arm in choke so much in his last fight where he weaponized it to a point where he could get submission attempts even though he didn't necessarily necessarily um, succeed on all of them uh, and came out with a victory. I think him not gassing out his arms so much in the beginning of the fight in the first round really helped him. I think that's what's going to help him to win this fight. I absolutely agree. And I just – I really don't see either guy having that knockout punch. So – you know, like I said, they're both pretty good on the ground, so maybe a submission prop is worth a damn. But I really just zoned out there because I was trying to figure out where the money is to be made here. I don't know if you pull up the odds for us, Gage, just real quick. Because, Gage, we had a little potty break before this session started, but uh, we figured out that I should pull up the odds too so I don't have to get so close to the camera and the mic and come like this. But uh, no, I was plus 145 for Darren Elkins and minus 160 for Derek Minor. Um, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, I uh, I think the money to be made here, in my opinion, is I just did a little parlay for us and mathed it out. It's more of a little teaser because it's only two bets. But uh, Derek Minner minus 160 obviously has value to it. If you have no balls and you're afraid to you know, play that with something minus 160 is really good odds for a favorite. So if you're going to put your money there, put your money there and, you know, soy boy beta cock. But if you're an alpha and you really want to play here, you could parlay Derek Minner money line at minus 160 with the fight goes over two and a half rounds at minus 165. You take that to your little bet calculator and parlay them together you take 50 bucks, 50 bucks, you got 50 bucks to wipe your ass with. You can make 80, 49, and you walk out with 130, 49 total. So just for one bet, you could get close to doubling your money. I'm not going to say I'm completely bullish on the idea here. So don't pitchfork and torch my house if this decides to not hit for me, but like, we've kind of been talking about, I think there's a lot of really interesting bets and a lot of money to be made here. What do you think, Gage? I think you couldn't be more wrong. Just kidding. You're yeah. pretty, you're pretty right on that. I, I'd, I'd have to take your, uh, your parlay advice here. And I think that's the way to make money this weekend. Just like we made money the other weekend with the uh, old boy, Sean O'Malley. So, I mean, I think we're, I think we're going to hit, this week's card pretty fucking hard and i think we're coming with the fucking money bets can i just take